Welcome back everyone to Kaiser Redux. I'm your host, Mr. Mocha Lover. And right now we gotta talk about the Banner of the Republic. Now I asked you guys yesterday, at the very end of the video, which one of these eight, one through eight, which one should we choose for the Banner of the Republic? Now obviously if you'd like to read about the event, please go right ahead. But overall, there's support for number one, two, three, and five that have the most support currently at the time of this recording, which is being made very, very late at night. But, the one that got the most votes was number two. Now, while this is not a democracy here on the channel, I do take in consideration what you guys put in the comments. So, you guys voted for number two, and here we go. We're going to keep the red, white, and blue eagle. And we already have a suitable flag, which is kind of weird. You can choose whatever you want and then choose the number of starters on number eight. So, But very nice, very nice. And we have the Constitutional American Republic here, led by Smokey, Smokey, William H. Murray. We have quite a few comments to go through. And actually, what I'm thinking of, I did say I want to take out like Mississippi first, but I'm thinking, you know what? We might do really well if we take out El Paso. That might be worth it first, just because it's easier to defend uh, to a degree somewhat, even though this is a river. I'm thinking instead of having two tiles here to defend, how about we just have one? Or maybe just, yeah, one or two. I don't know. I want El Paso. They have 9 out of 25 unlocked slots, but the old regulars. The regular Democratic organization is Louisiana's, or Louisiana's political machine for conservative Democrats and our long traditional opponents in its home state. Despite the, this, the two have made alliances in the past, and even with the old regulars having questionable loyalty to the AUS over the car, or the USA, now it might be the time to make another such alliance, agreeing not to run AFP candidates in southern Louisiana in return for them not openly opposing us, of course. Some old regulars have already crossed over to the old Democrats and refused to support Long, begging the question of whether we should simply investigate the organization for corruption and to have it basically shut down, which would also increase the AFP's hold on the state, of course. This would push the old money elite even more against Long, as well as the most hardened uh, uh, <clears throat> dudes uh, who believe in certain supremacist thoughts. <laughs> wow, okay. See part of Louisiana? We gonna investigate them. I ain't losing Louisiana. No way, son. And you find out we'll just lose it. And, oh, the PSA's here. Very cool. And Nevada, uh, like normal, has been split into two. I've been to Las Vegas before. I should go up to Carson City sometime. Cool. Oh, and the CSA's here too. Stand off America? I see. I see. And so, my goal here... Oh, William B. Haywood. Hello. Big Bill. Is for us to kind of hang out first. Uh, we are trying to get some... Uh, oopsie. Militia divisions in North Texas. I would like to get rid of some of this group here. The Black Legion, the Red Guards, and the Federalist Militants. Uh, isn't there a way for... The United States federal government did up, get an uprising here in Texas, or at least be able to take a good chunk of Texas? I forget, so... I want to hit the Federalist Militias. Screw the Feds. Am I talking about real life or in-game? I don't know. Uh, Western Command Center. All right, led by Omar Bradley. Entrenchment Defense. Oh, good God, no. Grand Reorganization. Yeah, I definitely don't want to attack into <laughs> the mountains. The Rocky Mountains would be really bad. Oh, another... Okay, the second standoff in America. Oh, uh, the federal government isn't looking too good, but that's all right with us. Actually, before we let anything happen too badly, 150 is nice and all. Let's go down to 100. And, oh, never mind. That was a bit too much. There you go. Duplicate it. Do we have any extra planes in reserve? Yes. 100, another 100 fighters. Very nice. And carrier cast one. Interwar bombers. I guess we'll use interwar bombers for now. That's fine. Oh, clan growth. The clan has seen increased growth with their followers linking up more effectively with their overall white league groups. Attacks on our politicians and officers have grown more common as the bombs be being planted in strategic locations and threatens to kill those who cooperate with the government. Dudes. Talk down the CSA. Despite the Red Guard and the Minutemen not being exactly on the best terms and indeed even fought each other in the past, the fact is that Congress... and. The Past the fact that in Congress, the AFP and its allies have voted on similar bills, as the SPI has led to some positive communication between the two on the higher levels, and it now might be the time to, to us those connections, or use those connections. With us already having to deal with the WCC and the extremely hostile card where military staff warns us we are overstretched and a left-wing member of our alliance, Murray Maverick, has offered to go to the CSA and offer a peace treaty. As they directly aboard the C USA and would benefit from working with us, of course, Charles Coughlin, the Silver Legion leader William Dudley Pelly, and most of all, Gerald L.K. Smith is opposed to the plan. Uh, claiming it caused AUS boys to distrust Long that has left us are our enemy as much as the anti share the wealth. Carr and Federalist WCC is. Send Maverick. Um, they are our enemies well. Well, I don't, I, don't, I kind of like that. I think it'd be my, mighty nice if we had peace early on. Ooh, I don't think this is going to impact us going down a certain particular <clears throat> holy route, but 
I think peace for now would be really good, just because this is a long border. The Texas Devils. Here we go. The Texas Rangers are under our jurisdiction, and their leader, Colonel Lee Simmons, are loyal to us. They are currently struggling to contain the many domestic terrorist threats in our nation, however. It is requested that we light Greenlight a planet, bring back famed Ranger Frank Hamer, who once again tackled the Klan in our territory and provide funding to do so. This would undoubtedly weaken the Klan, but perhaps their efforts would be more useful elsewhere. So Greenlight it. Target generic robbers instead. Help, have them help train the troops instead. Eh, that's okay. Greenlight it. We don't want the, them clan folk around here. No, sir. That CSA accepts. Look, that's great. The CSA accepted the deal. We can now move troops accordingly to fully account for the WCC in the car. Of course, Maverick warns that the syndicalists and ultra radicals in the CSA will oppose the deal, and it could break down in the future. It'll have to do. So be it. Which gives us more time to really just focus on these guys then. Good, good, good. A deal with us. Leftist devils. But well, that's a deal that we're going to take. Building a loyal navy. The admirals of the U.S. have prevented any of their ships from being liberated by the true patriots of America and thus are deprived of a navy. However, we do have a number of admirals and sailors that are planning on building up a new navy. We do have quite a number of ships in Houston that we can convert to warships. We can go either for destroyers or cruisers. Which should we go for? I don't know why you go with destroyers. I really like cru cruisers, though. I love cruisers. I, I'm a sucker for cruisers. Oh, look at that. We've got some subbies, too. Look at that. Oh, yeah. We have 41. That's Oh, yeah. We're already raiding the southeast. Nice. Ah, uh, I love it. And silent super events? I don't think so. And the next event, before the war breaks out, I'd love to take El Paso, snipe El Paso, and hold on to the Minneapolis strikes, a syndicalist strike. While the state of Minnesota is in the control of the Farmer Labor Party, there remains a strong IWW element within Minneapolis, whom have grown increasingly unstable ever since, or well, since former Governor Floyd Olson, whom held amical relationships with them, died. Now, they're clearly designed to join the CSA, and pulling down their strikes would not only antagonize the socialists, but cost us some manpower. Either we'll have to pay them off of uh, or sense National Guards to quell them. Of course, some radicals in the AFP would prefer to just give them semi-autonomy in part of Minneapolis, allowing them to run along more cynicalist lines so that as long as, long as they don't attack members of the middle and upper class living there. And instead, it will pay off business owners. They claim this will quell their anger a lot altogether. Pay them off, break them, increase the popula influence of right-wing populists, give them some autonomy, left-wing populists. Um, hmm. So, we have to think about the future as well. But, <clears throat> as was decided by my Discord server, we're going down a certain uh, <clears throat> whole route, which is kind of to the disappointment I know of somebody. One of the comments said, don't go down the national populist theocratic fascist route. And someone also, and the same person also said, don't do Pelly, because everyone does Pelly. So we're not going to do Pelly this campaign as much as I would want to. But, uh, yeah, we're not going to go Pelly this time. Self-defense? All right. Well, pay him off is probably a good way to do it. I don't want to lose political power. I really don't, man. Uh, I'm going to assume right wing also includes, like, national populace, so... Uh, you know what? I don't want to piss them off. Just pay them off. It's fine. We can get some more people later. Hopefully we can hold it. If, if we can take Denver early on, that'd be really great. But, Patter Gas Machine. Tom Pattergast is the political boss of Kansas City and Jackson County with a reputation for running his cities as his personal five times. Nonetheless, he's not very welcoming towards the constitutional American Republic who hope to displace him in a system with the old Democrats and other more hardcore white supremacists and prohibitionists who view Pendergast as a cellular vice in which all honesty he is. Which I've actually heard of Pendergast before. Certainly this does not make him the greater evil. Uh, to us, nor are we to him, leading to ask, leading to him to ask him for protection. His machine would undermine the AFP power and not, not be wholly popular, but provide the AUS as a whole with greater resources, men who could be recruited into his territory, and assistance from Pentagast organized crime allies who could make our lives easier and cars more difficult. On the other hand, we could just run AFP candidates in his territory and scare him off and, and his ally mobster Charles Carollo by threatening to charge them should they not leave, which we do. Provide some support. Kansas City ain't big enough for the two of us. Uh... That's fine, we'll do that one. I'm not really sure. I'm sure that's another route. Probably gangster route or something. Oh, good. Texas is here. Uh, in the meantime... You got you are fighting down there. You are fighting these guys over here. I think I'll send all of Texas this way, except for one division. I'm splitting up the Texan divisions just a wee bit. And so now we can grab some more divisions in... Arkansas is for Louisiana 6. Yeah, we're going to do Louisiana. Good. Chief of Staff... With the Civil War looming, the fact we do not have a Chief of Staff has prompted concern among various political and military leaders. They thus met with Huey Long to appoint a Chief of Staff to win this war. With the competition being mainly between the three professional officers, Jacob Smiling Jake Devers, as notably hated by Eisenhower and advocated for a mobilized army. 
J. Law and Latin and Joe, Colin favors the reliance on artillery, and terrible Terra de la Mesa, Alan Sr., who advocates for advanced combat tactics and tactical planning. The right wing of the AUS have doubts about each of these strategies, and AFP leader Joe L.K. Smith, with the backing Charles Coughlin and many Silver Legion commanders, has put forward a more political sol solution to issues which relies on mass recruitment via populist Christian recruitment and militancy, although favoring him will surely push the party right. Oh god, I really want to do Smile and Jake. I really want to do Collins. I really want to do Terry. I want to do all these guys. Well, that sounds really weird. That sounds very, uh, <clears throat> not, not very 1930s, but, uh, I think, with the way we, that we're going, a Christian party victory, social conservatives, huh? Yeah, that's that route. Um, terrible Terry. Minister Smith. Christian Nationalist Crusade. Hmm, we get a lot more manpower. I never used mass assault either for the American Civil War. My terrible Terry. Nah, that's division and stuff. Lightning Joe, which is the way I want to go, doesn't give you a ton more artillery attack, but it's pretty good. And I want to use artillery quite a bit, but um, he's a minister already. But he's a minister, so I think we'll try Minister Smith just because it says. The, far, the right wing of the AUS has doubts about each of these. The backing of Charles Coughlin, which we like. I think I'm saying that right. Anyway, so let's go with him. Just because we want to go down a particular route. Next event, as we're lining up, Bonnie and Clyde gang. While crime is rampant throughout the territories, as criminals look to make an easy buck from the unstable nature of America, one criminal group in particular has gained infamy, namely the Barrow Gang. This is largely due to the sensationalist takes on Cl Clyde Barrow and Bonnie Parker, a couple parallel leading the gang and whom are often called Bonnie and Clyde for short. The activities of the whole gang involve many robberies, sometimes even of banks, but increasingly members of law enforcement are getting gunned down, part partly due to the heavy firepower the gang is packing famously. Clyde Barrow himself carries a Browning automatic rifle. Unfortunately, the gang is gaining an undeserved fault. Folks, your reputation, undermining the legitimacy of the state. How should we respond? Send the Texas Rangers. Send the National Guard. We don't have resources for this. Um, National Guard. Uh, send the Texas Rangers, I guess. Ooh, that could hurt the Rangers, though. That would not. No, that wouldn't be very good for us. Um, yeah. Chief of the Army with the Civil War looming. The fact we do not have a Chief of Army to prompt prompts a concern amongst very political military leaders. Thus, they've met with Hugh Long to appoint a Chief of the Army to win this war. Fetch it. Which I like the organization less supply consumption. Frank Maxwell Andrews. Supply consumption goes down. And more defense. Or Fox Connor. Eh, that seems okay. Uh, let's see. Chief of the Staff. Does this affect anything down here? Probably not. And that's Air Navy back on the world stage. I don't think it's going to affect anything here. So, you want more defense? Well, defense is nice. But organization works for defense and attack. So, I'm going to go with James Fetchett. Look at that. Black Legion resistance. Oh, boy. That's not good. That's really not good. I still have enough support, though, for now. The Southern Tenant Farmers Union. The Southern Tenants Farm Union is a left-wing bureau for the tenant farmers legally operating within our territory and supporting the American Union state over the rightist constitutional American Republic, whom are representing the STFU <laughs> and their territory. This makes them potentially useful allies as they can help disrupt activities within the car, providing funding, and perhaps even giving its leader, Harry Leland Mitchell, a seat on her cabin, however. Some of the party are reluctant to do so, doing it being widely known as the STFU, have heavy sympathies for some of the combined syndicates of America, despite not being based out of the territory. Providing support will surely help us shore up support, but nonetheless would increase social sympathies and anger social conservatives who dislike the STFU's progressive stance on uh, uh, certain race issues. Put them on a cabinet... Uh, I kind of don't mind that one. I don't think so. Ooh, that's actually too bad. Uh, I don't think so. Good, good, good. Let's get some more stuff. So, three, five in Oklahoma. Southern Texas would be nice. We don't own all of it, I guess. Yeah, we're going to need, uh, control the city has not been settled. Ah, see, that's a problem. Oklahoma. All right, so we're going to settle you guys over here. Which is weird. I'm from Louisiana. We're gonna, you're going to fight for in Texas. All right, whatever. As long as, oh, Chief of the Air Force. If you like to do about that, please go right ahead. Fet Wait, fetch it again. Hmm. We have, oh, naval, we have tactical bombers, interception. Uh, well, I'm going to go with this guy because it looks like ground support. This guy's going to help us out with interception, air superiority, so I like that one. And then we're going to attack the new flag for the Republic, while most of the troops of the AUS are battling both the old regime and the CSA under the Eagle Banner of the American First Party. Some units, especially those raised on the Deep South, have been flying their own colors. As this situation has come to detention of President Long, a special committee is raised to determine a singular flag for all the reports for us of the Republic. Uh, we're going to keep using what we have already, so... Yeah, please don't change it. We already voted on this. Well, we didn't vote, because it's not a democracy, but... 
We've already tallied people's input. Uh, Black Legion sounds cool and all, but... Sorry, guys. We don't want the Black Legion here. Just saying. Your oh! Second American Civil War begins. America will never be destroyed from the outside. If we falter and lose their freedoms, it'll be because we destroyed ourselves. The giant is asleep for good. Good night. Hey, look at that. Yay. All right. So, professional as a Minutemen. Oh, guns. Make sure fortifications. Sure, why not? Louisiana needs some forts. We need to defend the capital from where our government operates at all costs. Quickly. We must fortify the boulders with a car and dig it in the trenches so we may have a chance to defend it. Oh, look. Factories. Yeah, give me that arty. Give me that, that arty, son. We're going to need a lot of arty. Well, I got more factories, too. We got more guns. Yes, that's not too bad. Increase it by two. Uh, that would be pretty good. We can. I'm going to leave just one on these guys. Are we missing anything else? Because we need trucks. Eh, we're looking relatively okay. Build more arty, then. Can I get some of this stuff from Mexico, maybe? Some tungsten? Can I import it from somebody? Oh, we're already, already getting attacked. Wow. Uh, no. It looks like we're going to have to import it. Oh, that sucks. Uh, Argentinian. That's not too bad. Argentina, huh? Well, I guess we'll do it once. We can do rubber, but I'm not too concerned about rubber. Alright, so. Looks like y'all just are asking to get encircled. And I am willing to oblige. Second Great Migration, despite the attempts of the Constitutional American Republic to force black Americans to stay in their territory, an increasingly large number of black Americans are fleeing to the north and west. The total is likely numbering at least a million, with many seeking to resettle or settle in our territory due to its obvious proximity. In particular, the urban regions of Texas are seeing an inflow of black migrants, but the machines are representing many whites. Particularly, the questionably loyal local Democratic parties, as well as part of the AFP, are demanding that we take away their right to vote so as to not threaten their political supremacy. Why populists such as Gerald Smith suggest also stopping any more blacks from entering as to not threaten the white working class. However, much of the AFP and progressive disagree with us, and alongside our general see an opportunity for recruitment of potential factory workers. They recommend allowing the migrants to settle and recruiting them at once. Let them in. Increase the influence of right-wing populists. Okay. Let them in, but they can't vote. We won't be taking any more. Increase... Ooh. Um, I'm not really sure which one's the right one to do. I like the political power because we could honestly probably use that political power and stability. Um, and I do want to increase authoritarian democracy here, so... We'll go with that one. Chief of the Navy, if you by that, please go right ahead. Uh, convoys are okay. Sorties. We have we do have carriers, so that would be really good to do. Halsey Jr., thank you. Um, we're going to go with Panzer X because we, while we don't have Panzers, we'll get Panzers eventually. I'll push on the uh, front. So yeah, that would be good to do eventually. If you move fast enough, please don't let them move over. Please, for the love of God, do not let them move over. Can you actually help attack here? Yeah, you actually can. Okay. Um, What else we got? Well, I want y'all to defend right there. Albuquerque. Now, if we could attack somewhere here, too, that'd be really quite delightful. But I kind of doubt it. It's looking pretty stacked around here. Send that good infantry division in. Send that one in, too. And then send you in as well. So help support the attack. We got some sort of naval battle that was raging on already. Kind of cool. Oh, would you look at that. And what happened? Did we lose anything? We sunk an American convoy. Very nice. You're just here to keep these guys in place. Well, these guys... God dang it. Mm. Oh, yeah. Ukraine. I love Ukraine. Illyria and Brazil. Yes. A thousand times yes, my friends. Ah, there we go. I'm glad I paused it. Five in southern Texas. Oh, yes. We love southern Texas. Actually, it's very, very hot in southern Texas. How would I know? I live there. Oh, come on. Come on. Can you break through them? I need you to help attack here. Come on. Please be able to break through. Actually, you can't help attack. God dang it. Come on. They don't have that much organization. I need you to run over there so we can encircle and destroy them. Hey, you broke over the river. Nice. Nice job, guys. Kingdom of Canada sees Alaska. The territory of Alaska has experienced a severe shortage of needed supplies following the outbreak of the Civil War. After recent bombing in the city of Juneau, the Alaska governor feared to break down a border, one that the far-off federal government was too busy to respond to, and thus has made a formal request to the Kingdom of Canada that they intervene. Canadian troops and supply trucks have already moved into the region. We'll deal with them later. Pesky Canadians. Ah, oh, we'll deal with them later. That's fine. That's fine, fine, fine. Let's go ahead and attack the uh, clan here. Yeah, no more clan, please. Or at least less clan. The less clan, the better. Come on, get up there. Come on. Oh, we're not going to win, are we? Oh, what's this? Convoy? Nice. Good job, guys. All right, so we're doing okay here. 2v1, we should do okay, right? We should do okay. And we've got to make sure that we're actually using planes here, right? All right, so everyone's doing that.
Good luck. Come on. These guys get over there. We all go. Oh, come on, man. All right, that was a waste of time, then. Complete waste of time. All right. You failed. We have so much for trying to get El Paso yet. Next. Uh, well, fighting up here is going to be so bad. But they don't have a lot of divisions over here, honestly. They really don't. And while I really don't want to get to the PSA, we actually might be able to do okay here. Send the horses up here. I do want to attack this region, though. Ah, there's so much I want to do. Why do I have to make decisions like this? Ah. Hmm. The mountains. Just sending vehicles into mountains is such a bad idea. But getting up to here and maybe reclaiming western Wyoming, which is not very populous at all, would be a good idea. As well as this part of Colorado? Maybe? Nice. Thank you. Federalist bombings. If you like to about that, please go right ahead. And it's going to happen from time to time, so I'm not really too worried about it. They had a couple of divisions there. That's fine. Alright, sons. You go ahead on over there, too. And uh, Arkansas. Been to Arkansas once. Pretty hot down there, too. New England's here. Hello, New England. Welcome aboard to this mess of America. Black troops debate. The question of black combat troops has been a contentious one in the United States with race traditionalists insisting that blacks lack the intellectual, intellectual faculties to be combat troops, whereas the others insist it is an absurd position simply robs us of much needed soldiers. Currently, Ger Gerald Smith leads a charge on behalf of the race traditionalists, insisting that blacks cannot be expected to be soldiers and gain the same benefits as white soldiers. Charles Coughlin and much other of the Civil Legion are in accordance with this. Although Pell himself is ambivalent about letting northern blacks join his combat troops, as he is a hardliner when it comes to southern blacks, insisting they lack the intelligence and civility to be troops. On the other side, Jacob Denver's the AFP machine in Louisiana, the radicals in the AUS, such as nonpartisan league, have pushed for black combat troops, admonishing the traditionalists for wanting to choose defeat just to spite blacks. They insist we should have Denver to the leader recruitment campaign. Um, we're we'll gonna have to go with we can't allow because Charles here says so. It's unfortunate, but it is what it is. Attack the red guard cells. I'll get rid of all of these cells here first. All right, so you guys are up here, and it's looking not too bad. Can we go in there? Give us a little bit more time. We're up to encircle those guys. CSA treaty. Oh crap! The developments have reached us on the re resolution of the CSA's domestic political debates, which appears to come out in favor of the radical syndicalists. As such, your advisors note that the faction is most hostile to the treaties essentially seize power, and the treaty is liable to break down the moment we are no longer a useful ally. Attack them now? No, 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 no. Let's let's kind of hang out then. That is El Succo Reno. This is going to hurt our war effort. Hold on, I can't. There we go. That's better. Oh god, this is a mess. This is a giant mess. Uh, should, should is just gonna war with them, but we have to have some time before we actually go to war with them. There you go. Oh, I'd love to do that, but just hold. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Do we actually... Yeah, we need St. Louis. Oh, that's so disapp disappointing over there, but that's alright. Oh, before we do that. Destroyer, not bad. Let the uh, horses get up here, and there was bombing, gosh darn it. 1937 Dutch elections, cool. Go in. Um, I'm not sure how fast and far we can push in, though. Where's where's our target goal? St. Louis, maybe? Maybe we should have these guys spread out. You guys go there, and there, and there. Maybe you guys go there to St. Salt Lake City. I don't know, that's probably crazy. And go down there to Grand, Grand Junction, there you go. Play the pledges, pledges legions long. One of the more unusual well wishers to visit Huey Long was an eccentric but passionate man named William Dudley Pelly. Pelly is the leader of a nativist political and religious social club called the Silver Legion that espouses its own brand of economic, political, and cultural populism. However, it is no secret that the club has more exclusionary themes than most of Long's AFP, with Pelly openly espousing anti Semitic ideas and embracing a form of chauvinism that trusts elements of society he views not as qualified for full benefits. Furthermore, while he's opposed to ODP for its backwardness, ideals in opposition to what Pelly believes to be true populism, Christian themes and national unity may, many believe the so called war system he embraces for poor southern blacks among other groups to be little more than a rehash of Jim Crow-esque policies but with a nasty face to it. His membership size is moderate but his enthusiasm for Huey Long's ideals has been 
long been enthusiastic and the two have collaborated in the past with AFP and Silver Legion militias joining forces against the socialists and less often for the Silver Legion, the NDWL. Pele has come with a request for money to take it on an evangelistic and patriotic tour of America to gather support of the American Union state. This proposal is imply to Huey's followers that he supports the movement which is likely to anger his party's left wing given uh, Pele's fanatical anti-leftism alongside his other ideals and risks alienating potential along his supporters while empowering the potential competitor that is the Silver Legion. How should we respond? I'd love to get Silver Legion support, but we'll have to make do with what, what, what we've got. Oh, and help them out here too. That is super, super important. We should be able to win here. It's probably mountains. It is desert, but whatever. Okay, goodbye. Go and retreat. That's fine. Hey, convoy sunk. And another convoy sunk. The Navy's doing pretty darn well. Uh, I'm going to put you guys over here anyways. And then we're going to need another general after this. All right, so we got the four. We got three, 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 Nebraska. Uh, let's do Minnesota just in case they rebel. You never know what the Minnesotans going to do. The Vatican offers military aid to Huey Long. Oh, crap. In a rather su surprising gesture of solidarity, the Vatican, under the auspices of the current Pope, has extended the offer of both weapons and supplies to the Union State. Even better, they have gone so far as to send fighting men, many of them formed from the ranks of French and Italian volunteers, to aid the Minutemen in freeing America from corruption and cynicalism. This has come as a shock to the Long administration. It has been well known that America is largely Protestant with a ca Catholic population, whilst largely as well, mostly residing in the greater area of New England, and some of them only living as far south as southern Maryland, all well out of the reach of the American Union State at the present. But, however, Texas has a significant Catholic population, and Louisiana has Catholic sympathies as well, making a reasonable offer on the part of the Pope. While he would long personally would attribute this gesture to traditional Catholic virtues of charity and diligence, as most would, some among the upper echelons of the AFP, particularly the devout Protestant Gerald Smith, despise the notion of Roman Catholic intervention, urging Huey Long to refute any attempt by the Vatican to potentially expand their influence in North America in particular. Let's have the Catholic unrest in Mexico as an example of papacy's corrosive attempt to uprooting the values of the free world. While one can easily dismiss Smith's ravings or ravings as unfair and bigoted, the ultimate decision rests with Huey Long. We have things under control. He's just being paranoid. We need rifles, darn it. Oh yeah. We love when the gun when the Pope himself sends us his personal arms. Oh boy, and then there they go. Oh boy. Oh uh oh. My apologies about that, but something happened, but we still have the Spanish Civil War. Cool. Make your fortifications, the rise of the Vaz, disturbing news. Spanish Civil War, so be it. And we'll do the ports of Texas. Nah. Professionalize the Miniman. The Miniman cannot help defend off the enemy if they're going to re remain ragtag auxiliaries of the AFP. We need to professionalize not only them, but also the various other political po politics militias on our side. We will do this by placing them under command of actual generals and organizing them as an army. Very nice. Oh, crap. Look at these guys. Wow, they don't like us here, huh? Oh, crap. The Germans helping them. The Vatican Vanguard leads an uprising in Baltimore. Well, look at that. We love the Pope now. And un as unrest over wartime conditions advanced from the front lines past the Bend Atlantic and into Maryland, the Vatican volunteers took the opportunity to begin an uprising with the Gulf Storm in the city of Baltimore just as it seemed on the verge of collapse, crossing into the city over the river from Fort, Fort Armistead. Under heavy fire, the volunteers came on ramshackle barges for the most part. However, with the aid of Catholic elements in the city, the papal militia landed at Sparrow's Point and rushed headlong into the teeth of the enemy resistance along the riverside. The troops then split the forces and cunningly used the cover of back alleyways and side streets advancing inward as the main forces battled the enemy across the main boulevards and throughout the city parks. At the crescendo of the fighting in the city, the Papal volunteers in a display of near suicidal bravery at once advanced on the enemy forces entrenched in Gul Gulford Avenue outside City Hall. Meanwhile, long as sympathizers with the aid of a number of local volunteers and generally angry citizens, many of them African Americans or white Catholics, charged barricades overwhelming local law enforcement forces, causing them, many of them to simply break rank and fleet. While many million militiamen lost their lives in the fight, including the heroic sacrifice of the militia leader, Father Emilio Arandez, the city is yet to fall. Luckily, reinforcements under the leadership of the Union State officers stand poised to take the area if they can beat back the forces now rushing to save the city. Only time will tell what the outcome of the conflict will be. But some within the high command are already angry at the imprudence displayed by, by the militia, with an anonymous officer stating in private that this war is our war, not theirs, personal crusade. We will be watching closely. Cool. Oh, crap. Oh, that's not good. Well, I'd love to stay here and... Well, Mm, can we collapse them already and just take out Washington, D.C.? That'd actually be really cool. Give them command. They need a command. Legion of Mary Immaculate something? Hold on, what is what is this? Immaculate Queen. Oh, my goodness. The Knights of Peter Claver. American Neo Sanfedisti. San okay, then. Oh, oh, he's in a... Oh, I love this one. Yes, more artillery attack. Kill them, kill them, kill them. Uh, oh, why did this go down? Why did the number go down now? Uh oh, are we attacking them? Oh no! Oh, you guys are doing, kind of doing kind of well. Kind of don't mind helping them out then. 
We're still winning over here so far, for now. Can you actually hop out? No, you can't. That's fine. Break the militia. Uh, Phil Acosta assumes uprising of the Baltimore uh, Baltimore Uprising leadership. Uh, a vigil was held for the late Father Arandes in Baltimore today as members of both the Papal Militia and the local Catholic community arrived to honor the sacrifice of the volunteers who had given their lives in the ongoing uprising in Maryland. Among those in attendance besides the memorials to Arandes, who heroically led the bayonet charge into City Hall before being gunned down by separatist traitors, was a pious dignitary from among Cath Maryland's Catholic elite. Philip Acosta Carroll, an army officer and irreverently patriotic and deeply religious supporter of the Papal Volunteers, who has replaced Arandes as leader of the Baltimore Uprising, gave a speech at the vigil now hopes to win the battle for Arandes and the millions of American Catholics. Carroll has the distinction of being a direct descendant of the Charles Carroll of Carrollton, known in history as one of America's founding fathers, as the only Catholic signatory of the Declaration of Independence, not to mention a man hailed as the principal financial supporter of the American Revolution. Many American historians credit the institution of freedom of religion in the U.S. Constitution as a means of honoring the contribution of a Catholic man's diligence and charity to a largely Protestant country's war of independence. Now, hundreds of years after the American, American Revolution, the U.S. stands at the forefront of yet another revolution, and here it is, as before, that Philip Carroll, like the Lord of Carrollton before him, has pledged himself to the American Union State in accordance with recent communiques with the Vatican. Vatican. Carroll has formally assumed leadership of the Papal Militia, ready to lead the Catholic faithful in taking Baltimore and America as a whole, fighting the last against the scourge of the syndicalist and stratocrat alike. This news has been met with an immense upswing in support, causing a massive swell in donations of volunteers for the uprising in Baltimore, and it may just be enough to ensure victory for Carroll. However, if Carroll should fall, fail to take the city, plans are being drafted to help him and his fellow officers retreat west to the more stable holdings of the American Union state. Regardless, there have also been volunteers elsewhere in the American Union state, both for Huey Long's Minutemen and Carroll's Papal Militia. This will no doubt put us one step closer to victory. We couldn't ask for more holy American patriot. Maybe now Smith and Pele will quit their grousing. Nice, nice, nice. Oh crap, you guys are actually losing now. Oh, that's not good. How are you losing, though? Yeah, we have a lot of... Oh, uh, support. Yep. Oh, Minnesota. Well, I thought we were supposed to get three divisions here. It's all right, though. It's all right. Um, Frankly, we need more divisions over here. Uh, I'm going to put you over here for now, but I'm going to split these guys up into two soon. Very, very soon. Oh, wait. Hold on. Oh, you're over there. Nope, it's my bad. There you go. I would like to retreat these guys. Please don't lose. Please don't lose. How are we losing? Come on. They have no organization. Come on. Oh, what do we, what do, we do? What do we do here? Oh, we sunk eight destroyers. Look at that. Nice. Uh, go and repair if you want to. That's fine with me. Oh, uh oh, oh boy, oh boy. If we could take this tile and completely surround Denver, that'd be great. Support the black belt. The guards apparently having some trouble containing the black belt during the war, leading to requests from local rebels, especially radicals, to aid them in their efforts. Well, maybe a high price would damage the control of the region. Decline. Mm, we have the command or political power for it. Uh, we want Kansas next. Let's send the funds. Yeah, why not? Why not? If they're struggling, that's what we like. If that's okay, you guys can just hold. Don't press J, just hold. If anything, you actually want to, might want to help support the attack there. Come on, move, 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 move. Get to Grand Junction, very good. Oh, they're gonna they're gonna leave Denver? That's a no, that's crazy. Don't get me wrong, that's pretty crazy. Uh huh. Oh, yes. Yes. German Empire. Yes, please. Yes. Very good. Oh, don't do that, though. We want a defensive front line, so no matter where our divisions are, they'll be doing okay in whatsoever. There you go. Oh, no. We lost the divisions with the... God dang it. How did we lose those guys? Good, good, good. Now, what are they doing? They're moving... Oh, a little bit of lag. Did anyone rebel? Anything happen? No? Okay. Keep these guys in place. Don't let them move. We If we could take this... That'd be spectacular. Oh, we got... Okay. Well, let's go down here. Maybe we can circle that division. I don't know. Probably not, but whatever. And let's throw up the line just a little bit more. Whee! Like, something like that or something. A little bit more manageable that way. Come on. Oh, we paused them. Oh, we got them circled ourselves. Well, that's not good. Oh, boy. That's quite not good. Oh, they're attacking us there. Come on. Oh. More divisions, Kansas, thank you. Keep yourselves on the line there. And... Nebraska. I could attack here or here, that'd be really good. Or if they want to leave, I'm totally okay with them leaving too. Get out of there, come on, get out, get out, get out. Oh, we might have sacrificed this guy by accident. Um, You guys get down there, you might be able to save him still. If this division leaves, we cut off the little capital of the Western Command Center. Come on, get out of there, get out of there, get out of there. Are you leaving or are you not? He's still leaving. But man, they take a long time to leave. 
Uh oh, we're breaking over. Hold. Get out of there. Come on. God, you're so slow. We're still winning here. 84. Yes. 85. Yes. For the most part, just just mostly hold. All right, that's okay to hold. That's okay to hold things sometimes. You can push into there. The CSA is not doing too much against us. Ooh, we're losing here. That's not good. That's really not good. Uh, yeah, that's really not good, man. If you want to, you can actually go there then. I'm not focused on the car, as you can tell. Oh, crap, that's not good. That's really not good. Oh, boy. Oh, how do they do that? What the heck? Well, we took Denver. God dang it, that's exactly what I did not want to do, but whatever. Get down here. Professionalize the Minimum. Gathering equipment. Yeah, let's do that. We need more goods for the men, but resources are scarce. So we need to open every armor we can get our hands on and gather firearms from locals if necessary if we're going to arm the men. Pretty much. Give them more strength, more resources to work with. That's good, good, good. Are we attacking? No, please stop attacking, guys. Please. Are you going to move or what? Seriously, what the heck is going on with these guys? We got them out. Ooh, thank goodness. All right, so this point, yeah, this is a little bit suicidal. Uh, we don't want to be too suicidal here. Maybe just go out like there, maybe? I don't know, something like that, maybe. Seriously, when are they going to leave? You guys are so slow. So incredibly slow. Hmm. Can you just die? You know what? At this point, just die. Get out of there. That's too strong for us to take down there. Uh, what else do we want? There you go. I think I want to take out the cars. Much. Uh, we could attack there. Yeah, we might attack Minnesota next. Uh, there's no good place for us to really just strike. Four divisions here is quite a bit. I don't think we can win over there in Santa Fe. I mean, we could try it, but I don't think we're going to win. Yeah, that's, that's, that's not going to win. So just hold. We need more divisions on the side. We really do. Hopefully they take the top. And at this point, I'm just going to remove you guys. Head on up here. It's actually really probably just better to take this tile here. We could probably take this tile and destroy those CSA soldiers. It's already restored in the Trans Mirror. Very nice. Anything else? More propaganda? No, not really. Abandon the area. That's fine. That's fine. Just hold. That was a waste of time for us, though. We lost 45,000 already? Jesus. Most against... Well, oh, those divisions have died over there, so what do you expect? You guys should be dying soon enough. And... The U.S. divisions. Well... We know this one's not going to go away, so I'm going to actually do this one. This is my idea. 40s. We got enough armor. We got enough XP for this, so let's go and get the military militia. Do Four. You're going to be the bread and butter of the army here. Oh, we don't need that many. There we go. We got 40 combo with 14 fours. One, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four. Not bad. Do we have any engineers? We should have some of that stuff good. And logistics probably that'd be good as well. Cool. Okay. Three at a time. Cut them down by one just because. There you go. And then we're gonna we gotta get more soldiers for this front. Support for the longest. Rebels fighting for America elsewhere cause a US Elsewhere in the U.S. have made contact with the government, offering an array of scams troops or soldiers, and it would be great, 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 great. Ooh, they are really attacking something fierce. Why are you, why are you going over there, son? They need help. All right, you lost one division, so here you go. Um, hmm. I'll split you in half. All right, and, oh yeah, Collins. Kind of failed on the one front, but whatever. It's fine, and do we have a new field marshal? Where's Carrollton? Oh, Long, Devers, Cates, Bruce. Yeah, then this is going to be the tank stuff, sort of, so. Oh, there he is, Philip Carrollton. Yeah, I'll make you field marshal, why not? Nice and offensive, and recovery rate. There you go. And put you guys right there, too. That'd be good. The car really doesn't like us. They really don't like us. We don't really like them either. Actually, let's make sure. Oh, no wonder we're not doing this. We have no dockyards. Oh, crap. That's really not good. 
Um, hmm. Because that nave is going to be really kind of important. Let's go make one of those and then. Oh man, they're really trying to beat the crap out of us. It's kind of working for them too, so. Alright, let's try it. That's probably not going to go well, but we'll do what we can. Four divisions here, huh? Oh, look at that. Five more divisions here, though. And you guys are over there. Uh, another general on this side. Let's go with... Craw. Demas Craw. Definitely didn't turn out the way I wanted it to in this episode. Then again, that's usually pretty much any episode. Hmm. I guess Bolivia? We still need that tungsten, no matter what. How can we not win here? Seriously, with all these divisions that are attacking? Alright, you guys are you guys are losing too hard for me to really want to use you now. All of you guys go in there. Go, 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 go. Are you kidding me? Are you seriously kidding me? You just move over there, huh? Alright, go in there then. You hold. And you send these guys over then. Goodbye, Alaska. I'm not even going to bother using that. Oh, I want to force attack so badly. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Do we have air superiority? Well, no, but that doesn't seem like it's really affecting us too much. Gathering equipment's good. And I'll go with Minister Smith. Gerald Smith has been appointed the commander of our, arm, of our armies and what a victory for the right wing of the AFP. Already he's telling the staff to prepare for a mass recruitment campaign which will overrun the enemy through force, a plan they don't seem to be fond of. Cool. Good. Fell, fell ill. Let's see. Iowa. Good. We could do that one. I kind of want to wait though. Uh, is there anything else we could do here? Wood River. Yeah, waiting for this stuff is not maybe really the best idea. Uh, that's okay. Yeah, Chief of Staff. I'm gonna maybe get one of these. Yeah, I was gonna wait for those guys. 72, come on, come on, come on. 72. 73, so if we wait long enough, we might be able to win there. As a car is really trying to beat the crap out of us. Oh my goodness. Wow, this is a giant mess down here. What happened? As long as you're taking nutrition, that's kind of okay with me. Cynicalist bombing, that sucks. Not even going to bother reading that. Can you guys actually go here? Three divisions attacking from three different sides. They might be able to win here. Maybe, maybe not. Come on. Ooh. My goal is just to defend against a PSA. I guess at this point. 78 is not bad. Okay, man, there's a lot of lag in this mod. Oof. All right, let's see. Uh, yeah, technically we could go in there, but we don't have enough divisions for that. Yeah, there's not really any place where we can, oh boy, really go. Help defend areas. Uh, send them over there in Baton Rouge, that'd be okay. Anything else, defense-wise? 75's nice, right? Dispersed, uh, and we gotta do some of this stuff, too. So, oh, we're gonna grab a battle. Hmm. I think we're going Mass Assault, aren't we? This is very weird that we're going Mass Assault for this campaign. Technically, we don't have to go Mass Assault. Well, hmm. You know what? Let's keep going down Mass uh, Grand Battle Plan for now because it's, it's almost done. So, but, but after the war, then maybe we'll go Mass Assault. How about that? After the war. After the war, we'll go that direction. It is it's still 37, so better fighters? Yeah, probably. Then you guys over here as well. That'd be nice. And next up, two from Northern Missouri. Come on, you guys got this. West Indies in Puerto Rico. You guys might have that. The goal is just to hold and defend. Hold and defend. Let them die on our line. 57,000. Cut off a lot of the car. Cut off quite a few of the CSA too. Not bad. Yeah, well, never mind. It's only 330. <laughs> Seriously. This is stupid. Okay, the CSA still OP. They just throw in five divisions whenever they want. Are you kidding me? So stupid. NDWL and last support. The clan has suffered massive losses in recent days and no longer capable of efficiently coordinating with other leagues and clans across the territory. With their organization seemingly on their way out, our military has seen more supplies and civilians are fair, more certain of our victory than over them than they once were. Excellent. Good. 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 Let's cut them down. Can we cut them down more? Hit the Federalists. Yeah, that's what I want to do first. 
Yeah, this is stupid. Yeah, I don't understand why we just can't beat them up if they're just all militias. That makes literally no sense. So, yeah. That just does not make a single lick of sense. You should be able to do well here, though. Silver Legion grows. For conservatives who are disappointed in the Democratic Party for their lack of populist credentials compared to other factions who are also turned off by the AFPs and MPPs' progressivism. MPPs? Huh. The Silver Legion's mix of conservatism and wealth redistribution has become an increasingly attractive alternative. The Democrats have become increasingly unpopular among the farmers and legacy Democrats, who supported them before and are increasingly a party of tradesmen and some middle-class liberals based largely out of Texas. Interesting. Alright. Lost some political power, though. Which is not good. Yeah, I don't like that. I don't like that that... Okay, so what's wrong with these guys? I, I get it, our land auction isn't great, but... We can't do anything about them? Like, seriously, we attack them when we have more divisions, we have overwhelming superiority, and we still lose. Yeah, no, I still hate the CSA. And if we try to attack here, they're just gonna lose. So what's the point of trying to even do anything against them? I'd rather just watch these guys die. Because there's nothing that, that the America, you know, Union State can do here. Which I think is garbage. There's nothing you can do. Are they going to reinforce us with that extra division? Hopefully not. Oh, what's going on with them? Are you leaving? Why are you all moving? I'm still going to attack here. Once these divisions move or leave. Hopefully, maybe the candidate gets involved, perhaps? How are you losing against these guys? Trench Warfare, we're going to go straight for Grand Battle Plan for now. God, militia sucks. I hate militia divisions so much. Minister Smith and the Christian Nationalist Crusade. We must appeal to the faith of the people. We're going to fire them up. We'll appeal to every pastor on our side to preach on behalf of Ngo on a Christian themed recruitment campaign throughout our territory. All right, not bad. It doesn't help us that much, but whatever. Sinkless bombings. Ooh. Eastern New Mexico, that's fine. Not that much there. I'd love to cut them off, but then they still have Michigan, so. Did they leave or something? Seriously, where'd they go? Oh, we got that doctor done. Nice. You should be able to win. You should, 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 should. Uh, make some convoys. There's not too much we want to make. I just want to make sure that we can at least repair our ships. We're still making some military factories, which is going to be super, 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 super important, but still. Artillery, good. Get these divisions out, and then we'll really be able to win there. As long as no one's coming over to reinforce this section, we'll be good. Hopefully. Also, I've got to sack Courtney Hicks for not doing his job. Like, I'm just gonna sack Collins here now, because he is straight garbage. Alright, you guys go over there. Um, doesn't really matter since they're all one now. Send that guy in, that'll be fine. If we see them trying to reinforce this here, I'm just gonna force the attack. Come on. Come on. Why do you suck so much? Yeah, they're militia, but they're just dug in with what? Do, do their militia divisions have, like, engineers? Do militia divisions have engineers? Ours don't. Do theirs? No, they don't either. Hmm. Very puzzling. But, cynical bombings, I don't really care. Strike, strike the cells. Well, there goes the Western Command Center. Good job, guys. We're going to rush in. Take all the territory. I don't care if we're going to lose any some of the battles. That's fine. Uh, okay, then. Goodbye. Go, 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 go. Stand with this bombings. Don't really care. You guys come in here to get El Paso. The most important thing is just take the territory. Take the territory. Oh man, the car hates us so much. Force it. I'm tired of waiting for this garbage to happen. Go, 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 go. For the love of God, we got him. Thank God. Thank goodness. Oh my goodness. Duluth. So that's where Duluth is. Like Duluth's trading company. Okay. Good to know. Weed out the clan? Yep, no plan here. Take, 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 take. Colorado, thank you. 
Keep taking, 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 Because if you hold it on for long enough, they'll become your cores and you don't have to worry about them later on. Get to Helena. Get to Spokane. Actually, you guys go there and there and circle them. That'd be pretty good. There you go. Yeah, you're not going to break us here, you pieces of garbage. I swear to God, I will... I will find Big Bill Haywood and we're going to end him peacefully. So peacefully. How are they beating us? With what? What? No. No, what a bunch of BS. You're going to stand your ground, you son of a gun. I don't care what happens here. You want to attack until you die? Let's go in, boys. Let's go in, then. You want to do crap like this? No way. No, no, no. I'd rather have these divisions die here. You will die here. You will die. Like these guys over here. And they'll do minimum empowerment. The Minutemen represent the armed forces who best embody their values, and as such, they are most trustworthy allies. By making their status on par with the army, they will be able to more freely spread their beliefs throughout the armed forces and have more resources to work with. Good. Jolly good. Keep moving in. Oh, look, we finally got El Paso. How are they winning? How the hell are they winning? Seriously. This is stupid. This is incredibly stupid. I don't care that they have 14 divisions. Apparently, when they attack, they can just win? No, 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 no. You're going straight in. Kill every single one of them. Leave no survivors. No survivors. Uh, let's go with that one. Syndicalist front. Uh, eat, uh, yeah, we're going to do that one. Uh, realistically, maybe you guys. Force defense. I don't care what happens. We will not lose this battle. I swear to God, if we lose, I'm going to sack this general, man. How are... You know what? How are... Oh, there we go. Order sword in Colorado. If you'd like to move that, please go ahead. How can we barely win here? And they're winning over here. Like, come on. Attack the Red Guards. That's good. Well, we made it all the way to the Pacific States. For better or for worse, it is what it is with the Pacific States. Man. Mm. I don't care about this battle. I care about this one so much more, though. How? Japan joined... The, what the heck? Okay, yeah, don't tell me that the CSA is underpowered at all. Because holy crap, like, what is going on with this group? They are just completely overpowered. Completely, 100%. Right here. We gotta leave. We have to leave because the CSA is overpowered. What the heck? Die. Die. For the love of God, just die, would you? Gotta love it when the CSA is still overpowered. Oh my God. Are you kidding me, man? Oh, look at that. That's pretty nice. Um, keep doing that, that's good. How are they not dying? I don't understand, like, yes, these little spots here have victory points. This isn't a very important victory point. It's three victory points, and they're getting more than enough supply for this? I don't think so. I really don't think so there. How, how, how can we not do anything? Like, seriously. Seriously. How can we not do anything here? How are we losing still? And they're not taking any damage. This is pissing me off, I'll be honest. This still needs some more... <laughs> this still needs to get looked at. I can't believe this still, This crap still needs to get looked at. Holy cow, this is pissing me off to no end. Oh, that sucks. This is my fault, I think. Just for, for just not for paying attention. But, like... CSA, always overpowered. It's continually OP, man. Just fielding casually a million or two million manpower. 139 divisions. Just just casually fielding that. Yeah, sure. Totally. Uh-huh. Look at this. What the hell is this about? Ten divisions. Yeah, we can't even defend. We can't defend Jack Squat. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm sorry that I'm getting pissed off at this, but this is pissing me off too much. But we can learn much about the militia tactics used by the AP during the build-up period of the Civil War. Ambushes, defensive tactics, and attacking enemy supply lines while reinvigorating our troops with an aggressive and ruthless mentality will win us the day. Well, only if the CSA doesn't just get completely, you know, buffed to hell and back. Because we can't do anything. I can't do anything about this. 
We cannot do jack squat because the CSA is overpowered. Completely OP. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Why do the devs make them so overpowered? There's nothing you can do about this. There's literally nothing you can do. You try to make an encirclement and they still beat you back. Somehow. Some way. BS. I swear to God, this is complete and utter BS. I'm coming back for the CSA. There's nothing we can do, though. There's absolutely nothing we can do. When they attack with just militiamen and, and like a normal infantry division, they can still beat the crap out of us. They can still beat us up. But I think I need to take a break from this just because this has pissed me off too much. I'm going to play a little bit more off screen. So, to speed this up a little more, I'm going to read the next few focuses. Draft for America. We've recruited many for the populist Christian cause, but some still refuse to join our ranks or do not qualify. We need a second draft with lowered standards so that all the people can be involved in our struggle and can use a number of our youth to our advantage. And let's see. We'll probably end up doing this one just for a slightly some more supplies. We need to purchase more arms for our now larger army. We'll see about cutting a deal for firearms from willing South and Central American nations who sympathize with the American Union States anti intervention leanings. Faith, fire, and brimstone. Our military seems much gross, but most of the new recruits are not wholly convinced of the minimum cause. However, when populism does not work, faith will. Pastors will join the ranks of the army and drill them on their religious missions, and only through faith can we hope to end this war. And speed, army speed drills. Our military must be swift if we are to carve into the enemy lines. While some view only motorization as being capable of this, our soldiers' speed is of at least as much importance, so we'll drill them for speed. But if you enjoyed this video, please consider leaving a like, subscribe if you're new, check out my Discord link in the description below. Like I said, I'm going to play this a little bit more, especially with the CSA here being overpowered, but I'll catch you in the next video. Thanks for watching, have a great rest of your day!